Hello again. Now we about to run the machine for the first time. We connect in water supply first. The first thing to do is to establish the water circulation through the unit. The next step we connecting the fuel line. Fuel line that would supply some mixed fuel or natural gas condensate. Here's a connection of the thermal controller, but machine is not connected yet. Pump is switched on and we're priming the unit first before we actually switching the unit on. So we switch on our pump and here's a mix supply going into the machine. To prime the machine, you need to open up the plug on top and fill it up completely with uh, diesel fuel. I'm quite experienced with those machines, so I'm gonna fill the, just the reactor with the mix, and then I will shut the well, start the power supply, and after all, when the machine get up to the working temperature, I'm gonna adjust the flow. Currently, I'm just priming it. I believe it would be enough to prime. Now I started the power supply and we can see the change of the temperature on the temperature controller unit. The unit set at 150 degrees. It should switch off the heater at 150. Currently it's 13 degrees, 18. So you can see the rapid temperature increase it's mean the petrol started to evaporate and very soon the column gonna become hot so once the temperature reaches about 110 degrees maybe 96 we could see some petrol separation happening and uh, at this point I believe we can start to adjust the flow now it's 150 already and now unit actually adjusts it at 150 and you can see there's a petrol separation and also have diesel fuel separation as well it's a small unit so I I think the proper temperature of running of this union would be about uh, 175 degrees Celsius, so I'm gonna increase the working temperature. Once again, the main control usually done with this handle of the ball valve or needle valve. So this valve is just controlling the flow of the mix and it needs to be adjusted such a way where the temperature have a room for some runaway so the elements heating up the mix slightly faster than the actual mix cooling down the elements and the rest is actually done by this controller so this controller prevent the unit from thermally run away completely and keep it at desired temperature in this case I already installed 175 degrees and we've got slight increase of uh, working temperature now 170 once it gets up to 175 it's gonna switch off the elements and elements would stop heat the mix up but they would still have some inertia because they're quite heavy big and they're not cooling down straight away because inside they're still quite hot enough our main task is to keep the reactor at this particular temperature is the unit again so there's adjustment making sure that it's not overflow and again once you adjust your unit you may keep this particular way first you need to prime it shut the pump switch the unit on wait for the working temperature to reach its maximum and then switch the pump on allow mix to go into the reactor and machine would process it 
technically it's a one-off adjustment only and then you can run 24 7 